Today, we're going to talk about three brutal truths of life that I had to find out the hard way. Truth number one is taking extreme ownership. First, nobody is coming to save you. So let me tell you a story. About 10 years ago, um, I was out partying, uh, focusing on other things, uh, gaming, just living the life, not thinking about anybody else. But I was in a relationship. And as you can imagine, that went south because uh, we're not focusing on each other, just on ourselves. So at one point, it even got to the point that I moved out of the house. So I moved into this really shitty apartment, nothing there. We, we just bought a nice house and I moved out to this shitty, shitty apartment. So during the day, I'd focus on my work and being away and in the evenings I always tried to hang out with friends to have some dinner just to get distracted and I was always asking them for advice what should I do I'm in this situation uh, and they always could give me some advice but I remember it so clearly that every day when I went up to that apartment I was there alone with myself and I was thinking what should I do and I couldn't count on the advices of other people. I really had to take my own action because nobody was there to save me. I had to do it by myself. And I just wanted to move back into the house and save my relationship. So that's what I did in the end. So I grabbed my balls together, went to my wife, talked things out. And now here we are, 10 years later, good relationship, married three kids everything going well so all based on the action i took if i would be waiting for someone to come and save me then maybe now i would be in a very very different situation second nobody owes you anything and this is also something i really had to learn the hard way back in the day when we were small we grew up in a family with our own business. My dad owned his own restaurant. And as me and my brother got a bit older, we started to help out in the restaurant. So working there in the weekends, in the evenings, uh, just helping out. So at one point we also started to study. I studied IT and I also got a job there, but I kept my work in the restaurant as well. So I started doing both things. And in the restaurant, uh, I felt a bit of entitlement because I was the son of the boss. And I thought, well, I can come in a little later. I can leave a little bit early. I don't have to work as hard because it's gonna be my restaurant anyway. Um, there was a lot of entitlement. So uh, this resulted in also my dad not giving me the restaurant. So that was a really big shocker for me because I always thought this is going to be my restaurant and now it wasn't. So then I really had to make a choice to go for my IT career because that was also still on the back burner. Uh, and then I really got the chance to focus on it because there wasn't a restaurant I was going to get anymore. I really needed to build up my own career. And Starting from there, the career really took off because there was no more entitlement, but I knew I had to build up my own career. Truth number two is that you are procrastinating. First, let me start off with not everything has to be perfect. You don't have to please everyone. So let me tell you how I learned this the hard way. So uh, I was working and things were going quite all right. And then I had this conversation with a coach and I was telling him about my job. I was saying, well, I always uh, take responsibility when uh, in the group and nobody's answering. I always take it upon me to answer and to take the action. And me thinking, oh, that's a really good thing because, well, you can be the leader and you can uh, do all the hard work. But then he asked me, why do you always do that? Now, then I start thinking, okay, that's a really good question. Why do I always want to take action? So I started doing some digging. Why do you want to take responsibility? And that has to do with 
pleasing other people because somebody's asking something there's no answer and wanted to give the answer so that's people pleasing and when you research that a bit people pleasing is always parent pleasing so when i found out that i started to really dig deep uh, uh, found some traumas there and resolved them and when you stop people pleasing you stop worrying about what other people think so also you can move quicker without procrastinating and thinking about others what they might think of it second you are distracted and you need to focus so let me tell you i spent years and years playing video games and watching netflix shows watching anime shows everything just wasting my time so as i mentioned earlier my marriage wasn't good and this really played a big part of it because i was just there sitting around doing nothing so i had to turn this around so i focused uh, the time uh, i spent on gaming i focused on my health i focused it on learning a new skill i focused it on my relationship and that's all bringing me good stuff so don't forget focus on the right things and don't waste your time people close to you don't always know what's best for you so first off uh, let me start telling you that when you are on the path of improving your life when you are getting out of the rut getting out of that bad habits and going into a new life you will lose friends because the friends you made were made when you were in a other spot you were in a different spot and when you start evolving you start growing out of that you will notice that they don't act as nice anymore and also when you are around them you feel that you don't have any stuff to discuss anymore so i also experienced the same i had these friends i always went out with to the clubs and just drinking and having good times as i thought it was back then and I also realized, well, I don't have anything to discuss with these guys anymore. So I stopped being around them. And that might feel a bit lonely at first because you think, well, these guys are my friends. What do I do now? But as you move on in life, you will also attract new friends. So don't worry about that. People will think you are extreme. Even the people that are really close to you that you consider friends think you will be extreme and even sometimes won't be very nice to you so i also experienced this myself when i started to be healthy when i started to go to the gym every day and don't drink alcohol and really get prioritize that also in front of them they thought i was a little extreme and that's something uh, I don't mind and that's also for you some for you to consider when you go on that self-development path that people don't always like it because they like that friend that's chilling with them that's drinking beers with them and also deep in their minds they also think well I also want to do it but I just can't get myself to that so they will reflect it upon you because you are doing the work so take it as a compliment in this video we talked about taking extreme ownership so nobody's coming to save you and nobody owes you anything we started talking about procrastination that everything doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to think about what other people think also you are oftentimes distracted and finally we talked about People close to you not always knowing what's best. So uh, people that you grow out of and people that think you are extreme when you move on the self-development path. So if you like this video, if it brought you any value, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot and I also appreciate it. So down in the comments, Please let me know about your stories. I'm really curious to find out. Bye.